Hi boys and girls, welcome to Cartoon In At Home with Mr Ryan. I hope you're all doing good today. Um, so for today's video, I thought I'd sort of go through how to draw a sort of cartoon bear. So I'm going to show you how to draw this picture step by step. We'll, um, we'll do it in slow stages and if you get stuck, then just pause the video and uh, you can either rewind it or catch up. And uh, yeah, just take it at your own pace really. Um, so all you're going to need for the for doing this picture is a pencil, a rubber, um, a dark colored pencil crayon or a black felt tip just to go over the lines at the end. And um, yeah, if, and then when you've finished it, you can sort of use your own colors to color in whichever way you want. So what we're gonna do first guys is we're gonna do a circle near the, near the corner of the page. Again, don't worry if it's completely rounded, doesn't matter. Um, you're going to do a line across like that. And then you're going to come down at an angle with a line like that. And we're going to make this sort of like a rectangular shape. And then you're going to bend that round. Okay, so we've got the head there and we've got the nose, the snipe bit here of his face. And we can put a little shape on that already so that we know that's where his, his nose is going to be. Um, you can put his ear on now as well. So to do the ear, where the circle starts to curve around, guys, just do a nice sort of big C. It comes out and then goes back in. All right. And again, with these pencil lines, just nice and sort of light with them. Don't push too hard because these are just our guidelines. We're not going to keep these lines. We're just using it as a, a sort of guide to put everything where we want it to be. So just above where the this line is here, this eye line that we're going to be using, just want you to sort of do a line that comes out and it's going to curve up. And it's going to go up, 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 and then start coming back down again. Okay, so again, nice and loose with that line. You want to make that sort of fairly big because this bit here is going to be a shoulder joining into the neck. And then when it starts to come down, just sort of follow it round, bend the line down a little bit, come along, and then it's going to start coming back up again. And it's going to curve round. And you're just going to curve it round so it makes almost like a giant sort of stretched out C. So we've now got the the back part of the bear. Okay, so you've got the the shoulder here, you've got the back end here, you've got the the ear, the head, the nose, the snipe bit. Okay, so we'll put in a little bit of detail now, just on this bit over here. We're just going to draw a nice sort of upside down. You like that, and then you're gonna curve a line like so. All right, so it's just that curvy line on the bottom part of this upside down U. Um, and then you can just very lightly sort of go around that again with a bigger U. So it's kind of like where the this is the the, the inside part of the eye. We'll do a nice big sort of circle in a second so in here like I said just a big sort of C it comes down not right to the top just part way down like that you can give it a little eyebrow as well if you want just a little curvy line on top of the head you're just going to come up and you're going to go one two three and then you're going to come out again and then bend that line down and curve it so it almost makes another sort of stretched out C. Over here with the ear, you're just going to do a little curvy line off the circle. You can make this a bit bigger as you go as well. Um, another one and then sort of curve it round. Okay, so the, these are sort of giving the effects of like the fur and everything. So this line here now we're gonna sort of develop a little bit make it a bit bigger if you want sort of curve it down 
and then round like so and just bend that line round and at the end put your little smile crease underneath come down with like a u that goes back in so one hot what this end comes down quite a bit this one goes back in we'll make this nose a bit bigger as well so you can see if you push lightly you can change it all as you go um and then if you do need to rub the stuff out the pencil lines it, it won't leave you with horrible sort of marks that's left in your work it is a bit of a nightmare to try and get your colors into when you finish your actual picture so on the inside part of the ear you're just going to come around with a with a c shape and then just sort of a couple of little shapes like that and there you go so we've got the face now you can put a little sort of backward c like that <clears throat> that's the tongue in there in his mouth on this line here, the, the back end of the mouth, you're just going to go down and curve it, okay? And then just sort of do a line on the other side that's just going to follow it round to join up. Underneath his ear, just come out with a few lines coming away from that circle that you've made. And then sort of join it up. To this part here okay so you can see that it's all just sort of taken into into place now it's all just starting to come together and again if you get stuck don't worry just pause the video rewind it to where you were um yeah and just catch up so come up just from the neckline with a little sort of v upside down v and then come out and then out again and one more and these sort of move away from the head a little bit. Underneath here, you're gonna do his, his under part of his neck. So you just come down, out, out. You can make that a bit bigger if you want to. So it's just kind of like where his, his fur is, his mane almost, you know, like grizzly bear. Um, now you're going to come on to the arm, uh, or his front foot, shall I say. So near where this, what we could do actually, if I show you, is you're going to start off under here. And we'll just sort of very loosely draw the, the top part of the chest comes down. So we'll, we'll make that a little bit bigger. And then just keep going. And then sort of just meet up with that line at the back. So it shall, it'll give you that sort of shape there. So the reason we've done it like that is uh, I might change those as well. So we know roughly where we want the, the body to be. Um, so we'll start with the back leg actually. So over here, I'm just going to come down with a curved line. Okay, so where that line at the back starts curving back up, near the bottom of this line, you're just going to curve down this line here that's going through, we're going to get rid of in the end anyway. So very lightly with that line, guys. So just a nice big sort of backwards stretched out C that comes down. And then at the end of the C, just stretch it out a bit. This line here is going to keep curving down, so you can come away from that curvy line. And then you're going to come out with a V, and then curve out. And then over here on the bottom part, we'll do his foot. So to do that, just a nice sort of line that bends up, and then down like that so kind of like a big sort of stretched out C going backwards or upside down L and then you're just going to come down a bit 
curve it at the bottom and you're just going to go there's the one toe two three so that's all you do so kind of like a j another j spin it round over here kind of like into a c shape and then back and then join up with these lines here okay over here at the front you're just going to come down curve a line that comes down and I so this one's nearer to us um the one that i did i had him sort of standing on an uneven rock so we'll make this one a little bit longer just because his, his foot's more planted so curve that line with a stretched out sort of c it comes down with a curvy line that curves outwards line at the bottom comes out and then curves down bends around and again you're just going to go one square off two there's the j three curve it round and then all the way along and then over here where it starts to come back up you're just gonna curve a line down one two and then down to meet it we'll make this a bit bigger here make this foot a little bit bigger so you can follow that line round if you're not happy with it again it's just all about sort of changing it as you go guys now you can get rid of that line that goes through the legs you we obviously don't want a bear with a line through his legs um so you keep this bit in the middle because obviously that's the the belly here and then same underneath there's the chest it comes up all right and I might change a few of these lines as well just to as you can see when you go in you can put a little v there so the crease of like where the the back leg meets you can put a little line there and we'll just start um putting in a few details um we'll do the back leg as well so this one's more hidden so it'll come down and then it'll come back out again with that it's so kind of like an l with a curve that comes round and one curve it there's the j two three and then round into that foot on this one same again come down curve there's that l shape round one there's the j two all right, so we've got the, the sort of thing of the bear now. So again, because we're trying to keep the video a bit short, you can put in a, a little bit of detail. Um, the main ring aside from the head, you just come round and just do sort of a nice big V. And then one that comes down. And then another one that comes down. And then another one there. And then the same again underneath one two three and you can just sort of curve that up and then just give it a few like little bit of jags jagged edges sort of underneath just to give that fur definition you can do his belly underneath a bit of a different color if you want to guys it comes up there and then yeah where this shoulder blade comes up you can sort of curve up one two and then another one that comes sort of out three and then back down then just do the same on the back as well you can one you can come away from your shape as well if you want to make it different and there you go guys you can see that there's the uh the finished product you put together your bear hopefully you find that helpful and again as i said you change it as you see seen there you sort of change it as you go basically if you're not happy with it it's the good thing about sort of having that doing it all in pencil to begin with and yeah hopefully you find that helpful guys and i'll see you again soon thank you very much bye bye